Hello, you guys. <laughs> Welcome back to Into It, Into It of Tarot. Thank you guys for returning. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Hugs and kisses to you. This is a general reading, so overall, hopefully the message resonates with you or is helpful in some way, shape, form, or fashion. All right? Thank you guys so much. So, so, so very much for your likes, your shares. Definitely your subscribes. If you haven't, make sure you do so by the end of the read. All right? This is a general reading, so gender can also be fluid over here. If I'm talking about a she, I could also be talking about a he. All right? If I'm talking about a he, I could be talking about a she. Same sense, same scenario, just with the roles. This can be past, present, or future energy. That of my collective, your past persons, places, times, and also events. This can be energy around you collective at the present moment. People around your past persons or people around them, so forth, all right? So only take what resonates. Leave the rest for someone else who does. The entire reading may not resonate with you, all right? So just keep that in mind. Any sign can be significant, so only take what resonates. What doesn't about the read or if something is unbeknownst to you mentioned in the reading, Make sure you're counseling with your spirit team, your ancestors of the brightest white light that have ascended into heaven, your spirit guides, your angelic angels for a sign that you will be aware of when it comes to that answer for that particular part of the read. All right. But with that being said, we're going to jump right into it, do an energy check and get that message out for you. All right. But overall, hopefully the message helps in some way or resonates. Okay. To be clarity and validation for others of you as well. All right. All right. First part out. Spreading malicious gossip. Smear campaign. And this is just to taint somebody's image, like to make people look at you differently. And malicious is pretty bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if it ain't true, it helps when somebody don't know you either. It's easy to spread malicious gossip, things that can, you know, really either bring you harm you know, could make people come towards you for like ill, you know, reasons because of something somebody made up terrible enough and spread it fast enough, you know, to bring a lot of like negativity towards you, possibly even harm. Okay. Without your knowledge. Next card, Mystical Traveler. Somebody may not know that they are a Mystical Traveler. Make sure you look it up. Whoever this is, it's more or less like someone... Um, unpredictable like um and not in a bad way but it is for people that want to try to figure you out um that you know try a mystical travel is somebody that really does not have a destination you know what i'm saying like they kind of free-spirited you know um they're here today gone tomorrow you know you really just have to enjoy them while they last you know when they're around 
think you could be somebody that can look be looked at as detached sometime, but it's just, you know, the fact that the way you move sometimes can be labeled a mystery. You know, how you think, you know, the way you move can be labeled a mystery. You know, it's it could be unpredictable. And you could go, you know, dream a lot. You could go a lot of places, you know, in your dream state. Yeah, you could be a dreamer. Definitely that. Next card. Overthinking and stressed out over you, Divine Feminine. But this is also, you know, mystical travelers are also people, you know, that are misunderstood majority of the time. You know, when people don't understand something, or somebody can't control how somebody is, you know, by way of, you know, different strategies, tests and things like that, that don't end well, you know, they the results are not good, even if you test somebody like that, you're not going to like the results, and it will backfire, it will blow up in your face, but, I mean, that's pretty much with anything that is not intended to be disturbed, when somebody's path is faded, whatever it is that's meant for them to go through, good or bad, it's fated for them. It's, it's their journey. It's part of their destiny, their path. It, it, you know, tampering with that can make something blow up in your face. But with this malicious gossip, this smear campaign that somebody trying to, you know, put somebody under, it's like meant to have people not look at you the same and make people like question whether they want to come towards you. And if they do, it's with some type of intent unbeknownst to you. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times people... It happens when you hear about somebody in the worst way and then you hear them go on record, you know, telling you what they know people are saying and they give you the truth and you're like, damn, you know, all this time I've been thinking this or been hearing that. It, so many people have been saying it, though. It's like, yeah, it don't just be, you know, celebrities. and that, It doesn't just happen, you know, to famous people. It happens to, you know, the smallest folks, you know, that's least in the public eye, you know, but it's meant to isolate you you know what i'm saying not just in the 3d way but like spiritually energetically like isolate you make you feel you know alone like nobody understands you nobody gets you so you just stay there it's like that you know it's meant to you know make you feel trapped like unwelcome you know in society in life you know make you look at yourself in a way where you have to constantly explain you know defend yourself all the time you know what i'm saying against things that just come out of nowhere but it's a smear campaign it's malicious gossip you know what i'm saying but somebody's overthinking stressed out over you especially if you know some of the things that they feel then transpire between you and them if this is a friendship if this is a you know a lover situation it's like somebody you know don't know what else or trying to figure out what to do or anticipating contemplating like what they can do like if something is to if i'm to do this like what would come of that like what their reaction would be if they do this then i might feel like that i might end up doing this or you know what then it's like somebody overthinking something and it, they stressed out when they come to you next card twin flame false twin flame karmic as hell Somebody could have, you know, thought that they, you know, were, you could have thought you were with your person. Somebody could have thought they were that person or something like that. But somebody's a, a karmic. Somebody's in the karmic cycle with somebody that they, you know, could be a karmic soulmate, karmic twin. But I feel like somebody's, you know, it's definitely a false twin. They could have a past life with this person. But even in this life, somebody's, 
you know, supposed to get the lesson, get the, understand the assignment. Get the lesson, get the fuck on down. But I feel like somebody stayed too long and it's constantly back and forth, in and out, off and on with somebody. But they karmic as hell. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like somebody feel like the more they have in common or the more they go through together or more that pops up, you know, between them and they end up back, you know, together in the next two, three days, weeks or something like that, that, you know, they meant to be together, you know, on the in the most karmic way. Like how some folks will say, I don't know, you know, people just don't, I know, you know, we might argue, we might, you know, stop talking or we break up or, you know, end up back together this and that off and on like that's some high school shit but when you get to the point of knowing you know you don't live enough of your life you know and you you know getting approaching your 30s or something like that it, some shit ain't you ain't supposed to be still around here doing you know and if you are you, it's something to understand and be clear about like you you sleep you know you're refusing to make some changes because when you tired of going in that you know, getting on that Ferris wheel or getting on that merry-go-round, I mean, it's all up to you. You know, but some people don't want to make changes because they don't want to end up without the people around them that gets them, that they feel gets them, that it's more like them. They don't want to end up being, you know, in a category by themselves because they made one change that everybody else refuses to make. And some folks just like, oh, I just can't be without my, my crew. You know, I can't just up and change and lead them. I can't just up and change everybody. You know how people going to look at me? Like, if you spend the rest of your life doing that shit, you ain't never getting no damn work. And you ain't going to be able to blame no damn about it, really. But people try. They will. And they'll go do some divination to try to, you know, change all that for them instead of making some changes about their damn self. And that's all it takes. But this false flame is somebody that's karmic as hell. Like this could be the masculine to you. This could be a feminine to somebody else, you know, um, that you were once connected to or involved with, or somebody, you know, was involved with a, a feminine and that was their false flame. Somebody was involved with a masculine. That was their false flame. But you would know because they karmic as hell. Not that they need to know it, but you just the pattern of the things that they put you through, the things that they, refuse to see the way you were seeing it not that everybody got to see it your way but realistically if you know you got chemistry with somebody and they just intentionally you know like not wanting to work with you know work with you or like you pointing something out to them that hell you know you done broke down to like a fifth grader a third grader and they still you know want to go that route somebody they just purposely mentally manipulating you like emotionally manipulating you on purpose just because they want to see what not making a change is going to do because they want to that's a the battle they want to that's a battle they picking it you know to have between you and them rather than just taking the consideration you know to compromise and you know see some type of common ground you know some equal give and take there but Somebody got involved with their false twin and thinking that this was their person or whatever history they had together was common or they got comfortable with that, they settled with that, and now this person is overthinking, stressed out when they come to you. Because what they want to happen or what they expecting, you know, this connection between them and somebody to, to be like, it's not. They not you and you not them. Somebody could be 50 to 54 of age. Somebody could be the ages between 50 and 54. Man or woman. And that's what I'm saying. Like somebody, you know, you get to a certain point in life, it's like, shit, you want to do something different. Like, be realistic. Like, be honest with yourself. Next card, pissed that you know what they did. You don't want to reconcile with them. So whoever this false twin is or whoever this, you know, 
false twin is to you or whoever this false twin is to a past person, they pissed that they know what this person did. This false twin or whoever this past person is to you, collective, they got what they false twin or whoever this false twin was to you, they pissed they know that you know what they did. Whether they told you, whether you intuitively picked up on it and just was like enough is enough. Or it's like, um, somebody knows that you know, you know what they did. And you don't want to reconcile with them. If you did, you'd have been back by now. If they listen to readings, they know you don't, you ain't stuck in that ass. It's something like that. Like somebody knows deep down you don't want to reconcile. But however they know that, you know, it's because either you told them that, you know, this time will come and you ain't going to want to reconcile. It ain't going to be no second chances or you don't do second, third chances and all that. Once you're gone, you're gone. Whatever it is, somebody knows. They know you don't want to reconcile with them. But it could be, you know, for a lot of you, they got involved with somebody they thought was their past person. You know, whoever your past person is, whoever comes to mind that, you know, is overthinking, you know, and stressed out when it comes to you. They could got it. They could have gotten involved with a, you know, false flame. All right. They could have had a history with this person. Don't have to be, but you know, something was convincing enough that this person gave them an offer over you and thought that that would go somewhere and stayed the course or tried to without you in mind when they went in that direction. But somebody still was thinking of you, whether it was in the worst way or you know, in a suppressed way. But they karmic as hell, you know. The person they went toward, you know, that they thought was their person. But I'm telling you, it's like somebody used it as a, like a trauma bonding moment. It, you know, excuse. Like, we've been through so much together. Like, why, you know, like somebody want to mimic a twin flame journey. But it's not. Like, what somebody, is, it, it, what somebody got going on between them and somebody else, it's like, does, like somebody doing it on purpose. Like, somebody is just allowing... They toxic behavior to be something they continue doing and make it okay because, quote unquote, I'm your twin. I'm your twin. I'm your twin flame. So we basically mimicking each other. Like they know the the history of, or they know that they got a little insight about twin flames from somewhere. But what they understood about it is what they're using against this person. Like they're using it to manipulate this person in the same with them. And if somebody went towards somebody, you know, thinking that that was their person and they put you in a third party, it's like somebody pissed that you know what they did. And they don't, you don't want, you don't want to reconcile with them. So if this masculine know that they went toward, you know, they false flame and the person they went toward know that this masculine was not their real twin flame. And they still, you know, continue to mislead them or do things to manipulate their energy or the way they was thinking or seeing things and ended up with them, you know, missing an opportunity with their person. It's like they don't want to, because of that, them knowing that person did this now, they don't want to reconcile with them now. They don't want to work things out and, you know, keep what they had going. Like somebody like, no, I don't want to, no. Like this shit was wrong from the beginning. Like... And you knew that shit. Like, you knew, you know, that shit wasn't going to work out. You you know, and it's like you kept trying to make somebody else, you know, look like this. Or what they were doing, talking about like this. When what me and you had going on is not even goddamn better than what you're talking about with this person. It's worse. And it's getting worse. Or it's not what I want. It's not what even what I expected. You know, even if they looking up or looking into Twin Flames and things like that don't have to be but take a high resonate or and my collective could have went toward a false flame and it's like whatever they did you know that put you in the third party or something like that you know when it comes to a lover situation this person know that you know what they did and you don't want to reconcile with them and this could be your person. You know what I'm saying? But it's like the way they were karmic as hell, it made you feel like this was 
yo, this was not your person. Like, no. But they that's why somebody overthinking, you know, and stressed out over you when they come to you. Because they know, you know, you they know you don't want to reconcile with them. Damaged by her. I don't own the copyrights to this, but definitely listen to this song in its entirety. For those of you that know it, you know the message in it. If it resonates with you, whatever part of the reading resonates with you, this song, the message in this song can be significant, okay? But again, I don't own the copyrights to it. Next card, making up things to save themselves, blindsided. Came out in reverse. Now, somebody want to use, you know, the fact that they was blindsided by something. Like, you know, like what I just said. Like, somebody was bamboozled. Like, somebody tricked me. You know, they were telling me this, and I didn't really know about that. And, um... I should have looked it up. I should have looked into it. It's like this person knew. Like somebody knew about Twin Flame Journeys. And it's like, even if they brought it to this, you know, they false twin flame attention, whoever that feminine is, I, you know, take it how it resonates. But whoever that person is, they brought it to that person attention. Even if you said it, if you said, hey, I think you my person. I think you my soulmate. I think you... You know, my twin flame. This person went back and mentioned that or repeated that to somebody. And they went and looked into the shit. Like, hey, this person, you know. And I feel some chemistry with them. Like, we do vibe. They Whether they told them that part or not. But I feel like this person mentioned, you know, bits and pieces of what, you know, you and them talk about. Or what you mentioned. That you know, you know, they didn't know you knew about. Yeah. It's like that. It's, it's it's definitely like that. Like, damn near verbatim what I just said. But it's like somebody went and mentioned that to somebody. They went looking that shit up. And like, oh, yeah, shit. Well, I could say, you know, this me and them. You know what I'm saying? That they damn false flame. Like, you know, they already don't believe, you know, that this person know what they're talking about. So, shit, let me go on and, you know, ride that way. Let me try to see what else I can get that person to you know, question when they come to them, now that I got them over here with me, shit, and they listening more to me, so let me see what I can, you know, get this person to, you know, stick on my side and do, you know, especially to the collective, to their actual twin flame, shit. But somebody gonna try to spin that shit and make up something to save them damn, they damn self. Like they were blindsided. Or especially if this if this is a feminine energy and they went towards your past person that show actual flame and they made this person, you know, they saying things to kind of save themselves now because they didn't know something or um oh well, you know, well, I was just listening to what they were saying. I was just telling you, you know, what was being said, what was being said, like this malicious gossip being spread, this damn smear campaign somebody had going on. It's like somebody you know, wanting to say that that had, you know, something to do with them thinking, you know, you was the karmic, you know, because of what was being said. And well, I was just telling you what I heard, you know, and more than one person saying it and shit like this. So, you know, ain't don't ain't that many people saying that and it ain't true. Like that kind of shit. It's like shit. I was blindsided myself. I ain't even, you know, know the shit wasn't true. I didn't know. You know, how was I supposed to, like, that kind of shit. Like, if you don't know what you're talking about it for. That's why it got, it got, it carries so much karma, you know, behind it. When people go to, you know, spreading shit they don't know nothing about. And spreading shit and talking about something that ain't got nothing to do with them. But then they don't want it done to them either. You know what I'm saying? But somebody gonna try to spin that and use that shit. Like, to save themselves, like, making up things.
felt like somebody foresight was blocked because they, you know, was operating out of their damn ego, out of the, you know, out of their dark side. You know what I'm saying? Somebody was not working on their shadow side. Like somebody was definitely in their south node. Like somebody was on some karmic ass shit. Somebody was a whole karmic masculine or karmic feminine. That both of them was just in a karmic ass toxic ass cycle that they both you know on the same in alignment with each other at the time because they both was tolerating each other and calling it what love didn't know if it was love or lust or some shit like that had this person all in their fucking head next card completion of an important chapter in your life work without procrastination you could be seeing angel number 999 and that's what that is you've um, completed an important chapter in your life work without procrastination Especially, you know, if this is, you know, for my collective, take it how it resonates. But if this is for my collective, like divine feminine, divine masculine, make sure you are working without procrastination. Like whatever it is that, you know, you haven't, you've been away from doing for yourself, you know, anything that comes to mind that you might be working on currently or something that you may have in mind that you want to go towards or, you know, explore you know put some you've been putting some thought into or trying to figure out if you want to go in that direction if you want to you know see what happens you know try to put some time invest some time into something new you know and see where it goes like a change of job relocating whatever it is work without procrastination you know don't let things you know hold you up or keep you in your head too much about it just take that leap of faith and get right into it you know what i'm saying whether you work on it two days out of the week or every day of the week, you know, as long as you're doing it, you know, and putting in that, that time, giving it that time to see, plant the seed, okay? Just start doing whatever it is that you thinking about doing or been putting off doing, you know, don't procrastinate about things, okay? Next card, you're going to witness their downfall for coming for you. I could be talking to a tarot reader or someone who used to be a tarot reader. Or somebody saying they're a tarot reader. But a tarot reader can be significant. The difference, the problem is it came out in reverse. So whoever it is, is either saying they're a tarot reader or they, and they really not. Somebody don't want to admit they're a tarot reader or don't know that they can read tarot or something like that. Or somebody don't want somebody to know that they read tarot, like that they're a tarot reader, like they do it. Whether they want somebody involved with somebody and they don't want them to know that they do it or something like that. But a tarot reader could be significant.
But this came out of reverse. Sure. And somebody don't want you to even witness their downfall. Somebody don't even want you to know that they shit is crumbling down around them. Like somebody don't even want it to be known. And if it ain't happening now, it's the fact that somebody don't want it to be known. Like they doing all they can to try to prevent something from being known. Like to, you know, from ending like from the devastation or something, you know, to actually be seen, noticed. Especially by you. It's like somebody ain't gonna, they don't want you to know how bad something going for them right now. Like somebody down in the damn trenches, but they don't want you to notice it. They only want you to witness it. But I feel like if you see them, or when you do, you're going to know it's them. You're going to know <laughs> this part of the reading was about them. This is like somebody, they ain't going to want you to, they ain't going to even want to confront you or see you at this point in time. Or they're going to hold off on, you know, running into you or trying to come towards you because they don't want what they going through to look like to look like it. They don't want you to actually see that they going through something. And that's they I feel like that's somebody karma for this smear campaign, this malicious gossip. What's gonna come out about them is gonna be the truth. And it's gonna be enough people sharing it and talking about it that don't even know them. The same way they did you. But this is just gonna be the truth, you know, on the flip side of what they trying to do to you or did to you. Child, and I saw the ICU card in this deck, you know, want to come out. Next card, death is all around them now. Somebody did something intentionally to a divine union. Like intentionally came for it the way they did. Somebody could be muscular, solid build. Man or woman. Somebody could be in a 50 to 54 or 59 years old. Muscular, solid build. Virgo feminine can be significant. They trying to give you something to hate on collective. You you gonna have something to, to get them to hate on. Like you gonna what's coming in for you or what's coming towards you is gonna it's gonna be enough to if they thought they was hating on you now that shit. If they thought if you thought they was hating then they really finna be hating now. They ain't really even have nothing to hate on them, but they they about to they about to have it. About to really get somebody something to hate on, watch. Because I feel like you've been silent, you know, for the most part when it comes to, you know, how people are or just how you done healed, you know, over time, you know, how your healing then, you know, elevated you, how you've ascended so far. And it's like you've, you know, ascended past your person. You know, to the point where the things that, you know, may entertain or, you know, get their attention or get a reaction out of them does not work that way with you. You know, you going about your day and handling what you got to do is not something, you know, you broadcast about, whether it's good or bad, whether it's a struggle or whether it's, you know, 
excitement, you know, in your own right. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is that goes on with you, you, you know, to yourself is what, you know, makes people wonder about you, makes people, you know, overthink, you know, in their head a lot when it comes to you. Your mystical travel. You know, but next card. Emotionally codependency, feminine. And this is somebody that needs to be validated, you know, by how somebody, you know, sees them, you know, when it comes to emotions. You know, they need to be loved on. They need somebody that's going to, you know, pay them some attention, you know, make them relevant in their life. You know, this is somebody that needs to be liked. You know, if not love, they definitely need to be liked. But this is somebody that lacks that for themselves. Like somebody needs it from other people. They don't look for it in themselves. Like somebody doesn't like what they see in the mirror. They need other people to like it. They need to like, uh, they want other people to see them as somebody you know, it's like, and this person, you know, started a smear campaign to stop the way people see you. They don't like the way people like you. They want people to dislike you because they dislike them. Because they not you. They dislike, you know, things about you because it's not them. And if it, you know, it's something that they feel like they want to deny and say, well, I do. I love myself. I do. Okay, but why do you do the extra shit? You know, why do you look at other people the way you look at other people? You know, you can say you okay today, but the person that you saying, you know, you want to like you or be with you, if they don't want you, the first thing you do is think about how the person they going toward might look. You're always worried about somebody else's looks, how somebody else sees somebody else. You know, you can't even fake, you know, being supportive or... um. This person, they can't. This is somebody that cannot do that. They'll tell you they or give another woman a compliment, but that's only if the person that they want to like them is giving them one. If somebody don't like them, they got a problem with it. They ready to go dig up something on you to see what it is or just make up some shit to make somebody not like you because enough of these people over here ain't liking them. You know, all the people they want to like them ain't liking them. I got to be liked. This may be somebody that did not have, you know, um... Like a, a big friend group in school. Like they didn't, ha they wouldn't like like that. Like they weren't popular like that. You know what I'm saying? And you may not look at yourself as somebody popular, but it's it's more attention than this person can handle. Someone can wear glasses, shades, or glasses, something like that. Brittany can be significant. Give me a few more Holy Spirit this message. Give me a few more of this message. Next card left you out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. Somebody left you out in the cold. They, 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 child, listen. Somebody gave their karmic ass what they were supposed to give you, but at the end of the day, they know you know what they did. And they know you don't want to reconcile with them. Oh my God, I'm in love with you. And stuck as hell. And over time, I'm telling you, this person done had a lot of suppressed emotions while they sitting up here with their false twin, you know, in and out and off and on again. And been still suppressing emotions, thoughts, and things like that of you and don't know what to do with them. And then sat their ass around and looked up and like, damn, I'm literally sitting here in love with this person. And now they overthinking, you know, about how something done went. But I feel like This 
person, you know, work without procrastination, if they allow themselves to keep being in their head, you know, when it comes to the changes they need to make or the realization, the accountability they need to take, and they don't make a move on it, they're going to miss this opportunity. But I feel like they already know or they feel like, you know, they already know you're not going to take a bag. I feel like it got something to do with the fact you told somebody. Or you to mention it, you know, in a conversation with this person, how you don't take people back like that. You know, when it's done, it's done. When it's over, it's over. And, you know, they ain't no exception. Like, that's what I'm getting. But I feel like somebody know you know. When you know, you know. But I feel like somebody knows that they, you, they remember you saying that. And this is why somebody is got death all around them now. Everything this dark practitioner was paid to do backfired onto her now. Somebody was obsessed with their client. I'm telling you, somebody was involved with a tarot reader. Or a practitioner. This person may not have been a tarot reader. They may have been a practitioner. And somebody did this to a tarot reader. But somebody's not just a tarot reader. They're a practitioner too. But somebody. But they paid. Especially if this person paid somebody. Somebody paid this practitioner. Especially for masculine. Take a high risk they paid a practitioner. To do what they did. If a, it's like if a masculine paid a practitioner to do something, you know, to try to I'm not getting it though. I'm getting like somebody paid somebody that to do something and they it's like whatever somebody paid a practitioner to do it's like it backfired Y'all listen. Whoever this is, it's like somebody, this is what I'm getting. Take a high resonate. Because this, because uh, it came out in reverse. Okay, 
but whatever this person paid a practitioner, whatever this practitioner was paid to do, it's like somebody did that shit to the person. Or they did, you know, what they did, but I feel like the way something backfired, it's like somebody did what they did, what they were supposed to do to you, they did to that person. Because it's like that person... getting two different things like it's a masculine that paid a practitioner to do something towards you when they came to you and what they paid this person to do it backfired on her because of her feelings for the person that came and paid her to do something like what she felt in her heart like how she like, if this person came in and they wanted, you know, to put an ending, you know, to your new beginning with somebody new because you won't take them back. You know, you won't reconcile with them. And that reader told them, like, they don't want to reconcile with you. They know what you did. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're aware of the betrayal. They are aware of the third party. They're aware of you leaving them out in the cold. They know you left, left them out in the cold for somebody, you know, that's a false flame or something like that. Like, they're a terror reader. You know, whatever. It's like somebody paid this person to do something and because that person they paid to do it was attracted to them in some way you know and you know didn't want to bring this person together with you they wanted this person to come towards them in that way they wanted something you know between them and this they client this client and because they went along and took this person money to do, you know, this work with that in their heart, with that intention of them, you know, not doing what this person wanted them to do for them when they came to you and them. Or whoever this person was that came to them and paid them, it's like they had some suppressed, you know, feelings about somebody that as a client came to them to get something done and they went along and did this, you know, to a divine union to go and tamper with it, you know, instead of sending this person away, you know, when it comes to free will and just telling them what they need to know and send them on their way. The fact that they went along with that and did this with the intentions of, you know, something being in their favor behind it because the shit backfired like you gotta have a clear conscience like you have a you know have a a valid reason you know and you gotta have a clean slate uh, you know on your own right you know and only you know if you know your intentions you know to do whatever somebody paying you to do is in alignment with what they asking you to do and that person's fault in something or whatever the, the the case is about you know when somebody coming to plead their case about what they need protection for or what they want to get you know off of them that they feel like is affecting their life or they love life they work you know life whatever you know their stability in some way their safety their mental whatever it is that they paying you to you know free them of or help them you know rid their life of that's causing, you know, stagnation, blockages, you know, harm in some way or something like that, you have to use your intuition, your discernment on whether that person is giving you, you know, the truth and nothing but the truth. And, you know, you being safe enough, you know, mindful enough to, you know, be aware of everybody's ancestors ain't so weak, you know, like some folks, you know what I'm saying, that don't hold that kind of, you know, assignment, you know, here. That ain't here on assignment. But what somebody did and was paid to do, 
it backfired, you know, onto the, the practitioner. Now this person got death all around. Like endings coming for this person, you know, at every turn. But I feel like this person is, you know, lashing out at, you know, somebody now that does not want them. It's like it backfired. Like whatever they wanted with their client or whatever attraction they had or whatever intentions they had on um, getting up with this person or, you know, misleading this person into, you know, getting involved with them in some way or seeing what's something to go, you know, by doing this for them and things like that. Like it, that right there is even ended. Like they ain't going to even have that stability to even go toward that person. You know, it may not even be around to even, you know, have something with this person. This person got death around every damn corner. Like it's endings coming toward this person and they don't want it to be known. Like somebody trying to hide the fact that what's going on in their life is backfire from what they went and, you know, did for somebody. Like somebody could be involved with a practitioner and, you know, or somebody, you know, went and paid one that was interested in them in some way, whether they was familiar with this person doing this, had a history with them or something like that, or had already been messing around with them or something, something like that. Or well, somebody's intentions was to go toward this person. But it's like the minute they went and decided they was going to take this money to do that, like that was, even if they didn't do it, they took the money for it. Like it's still, you know, a contract that, you know, got an answer. Johnson, first, middle, and last can be significant. Give me one more. Let's see. Doubt is the enemy. If you're doubting yourself, collective, just know that's that's the enemy. Don't let doubt, you know, or fear of any kind release it to the universe. Ask the universe to, you know, to transmute it to something positive because doubt will definitely make you procrastinate. It's, doubt is going to be your worst enemy right along with fear. You know, especially if somebody overthinking and doubting themselves. You know, when it comes to something, it's, it's still the enemy. Regardless of what you, you know, linked out to. Insurance policy investigation on you came out in reverse. Give me one more Holy Spirit. If somebody try to have, you know, when it comes to insurance policy, you know, on you. Somebody don't realize or don't know something is being investigated when it comes to you.
And somebody try to take out an insurance policy on you, you know, when it comes to what they paid somebody to do, you know, towards you when it came to you, when it comes to them trying to use that as a way to be able to uh, get something or collect something off this insurance policy. It's all clear now, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. And somebody, it looks like somebody going to need a damn insurance policy now, especially a life insurance policy, because somebody got death all around them now. And this is they, you know, this is they karma. This from this backfire. This is how... Somebody set their own self up, like somebody, you know, playing their own damn funeral. But at the end of the day, you know, it's a thing about somebody not taking consequences into consideration. Like somebody don't think something, you know, when it comes to you is any different from what they do to anybody else. I feel like somebody else, this person, you know, normally go to somebody, pay somebody to do some type of divination towards somebody to get their way to make something right in their life. And I feel like they fucked around and they got the right one. They, they picked the right one this time for real. Like somebody wrote their ass a check that they cannot cash. And it's being in the, in the check that they done wrote done landed in the wrong damn hands. So at this point, somebody, you know, an insurance policy on you is being investigated whether you know it or not. I feel like somebody got involved with somebody that wanted something, you know, to go a certain way between them and a masculine. But I feel like something not going that way because it was fated for it to go in the direction that it's going. It was supposed to go in. All this person, you know, needed to do was see things clearly. But they, you know, it's all clear to them now. But I feel like somebody was... foresight was blocked because they was not somebody didn't want somebody to see how something really was going or how something really was and they used divination to do it and that shit backfired the minute they went and tried to you know bind themselves to this person or do some type of sacrificial ritual or something like that bring some type of death or ending you know to a cycle you know, even if it came down to somebody feeling like they could sacrifice you, they can't. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that somebody even tried to do this to a divine being ain't gonna happen. You know, you're here on assignment. And I feel like them even fucking with a faded, you know, union, you know, twin flame soulmate. Because twin flames can, you know, turn into a soulmate. They can, you know, ascend to that just by way of ascension. You know what I'm saying? Of them mastering they self. Because dark nights of the soul and spiritual awakenings don't stop. They come with whatever experiences you currently in or need to clear out and get the lesson and move forward, you know, to your next experience, your next destination, whatever that is, you know, on your path. But I feel like somebody interrupted that by trying to use divination to put an end to somebody else's, you know, faded, you know, path with somebody, you know, to put themselves there and swap that out, you know, or just end you all together so that they won't have to be looked at as the false flame. But somebody, you know, is going to say like, hey, you know, um, I didn't know nothing about this. I was blindsided. This person, you know, told me this. They said, you know, that's all I needed to do to you know, protect our connection and stuff like that. I didn't know it was going to go this way. Like, no. I feel like somebody, you know, went towards somebody to get something done. You know, and that shit backfired. 
not just, you know, on that practitioner, but on the person too. You know what I'm saying? Like when, when it come to backfire and it come to not just the practitioner get hit, but everybody involved, the person that paid them, the practitioner, everybody got them, them they got death around them now. So whatever they trying to have with this masculine, they, they bound to what they did when they went paid what they paid this practitioner to do. And I felt I felt that's what I'm getting, like, you know, somebody paid to go get something done, like the smear campaign wasn't enough, you know, the gossiping and lying and all this stuff, you know, making up rumors, you know, to taint somebody's image wasn't enough, projecting a, you know, karmic ass shit on somebody else, it's like somebody trying to make you out to be this karmic, or this the, the false flame, you know, they doing this with, you know, me and my person connection and the child and this person believed it when done some shit paid them, and now they both you know, bound to whatever it is they done did. And I feel like this damn practitioner pissed off with the fact that, you know, they done got involved with something that was not what it was supposed to be. But it was their fault they didn't use their discernment or they could have had a, you know, a last minute revelation about something that they may have tried to reverse and get it off of them and, you know, take something out on this person. You know, when it comes to divination, but somebody like was trying to use divination to make, you know, to come, to come for you. Because that card is out here too. You're going to witness their downfall for coming for you. And somebody don't want you to see it, but they went and paid somebody to keep it, you know, from being detected, like from it being shown. And this person done used this divination to keep something from looking like it's going left the whole goddamn time they was involved with a masculine. And now that this person see things clear, they see now that the person that they've been, they left out in the cold was they person. Got the four of wands here with this. At the bottom of the deck, Aries energy. And especially if this person know now that somebody went and did something and caused, you know, something between you and them to be the way it is for you to see them the way that, you know, for you to see them and them to see you the way, you know, it turned out like somebody know, you know, that this person know and they pissed. Especially if somebody, you know, know that you know what that went on between them and somebody else, you know, that was a false flame. Either way, this person, they broken hearted. They pissed that you don't want to reconcile with them. But this person, you know, find you to be, you know, home for them. But the way this person believe, even if they don't believe in voodoo, hoodoo, hexes, curses, spells, and things like that. It's like somebody, you know, more maybe more religious than spiritual or something like that. This person could have some health issues. They could have high blood pressure. Don't have to be. But just, you know, it's definitely somebody that's a hard worker. But it's like 
communication with them could be coming in, you know, could come in slow. So we got the four ones at the bottom of the deck. Like it's it's I mean, it's a it's a partnership here. It's a reconciliation here. It's a celebration going on here. Yeah. This person, you know, reevaluating their beliefs. You know, they got a lot of outdated beliefs. A lot of things that they you know, wasn't seeing clearly at the time because they were operating, you know, out of old ways, you know, old views of things, you know, but, you know, when it comes to this heartbreak, this separation, you know, from this person heartbroken. You know, especially with this person, you know, not being, you know, spiritually, you know, like not listening to their intuition, not not listening to, you know, their discernment, you know, allowing themselves to be, you know, in some situations that really just took them taking a step back and paying attention to the red flags, you know, and this person, you know, got a lot of made a lot of bad choices to end up where they at. like who also whoever this practitioner is is like somebody went against somebody doing whatever somebody wanted to pay them to do It's like somebody told somebody, you know, um, what something like that, that they were, you know, trying to get this person to do or would have wanted to pay them to do, you know, winning, willing to win at all costs. That if some, they were to do something and they got something to do with a twin flame union or something like that or by them saying, you know, that you this person false flame and you getting in the way or they want to, you know, do this as a protection or something like that, you know, to say that you do, you did something that, you know, to get this union or to, you know, have this kind of position or title with this person, you know what I'm saying? Especially if this masculine or somebody told this person, this karmic ass, this karmic feeling, this dependent, codependent ass feminine. That you said something about a twin flame, this person went and told somebody like a practitioner and this person told them what would happen if they were to go through with something and how something would backfire on them and not just her, not just her, but you know, the person that's paying them too. And I feel like somebody decided they would go do something they self or they went to somebody else. It's like somebody didn't like what a tarot reader said or something like that about something and they went and tried to get something done and somebody saying, you know, if that's what happened, if that's what's going on, then ain't nothing can change it. You know, doing that or me doing something like that or something towards that is only going to put me in a situation and it's going to end up backfiring not just on me, but on you too. You know, you're going to be affected by it too. So it's like somebody, it's like that. It's like somebody... You know, knowing how somebody 
intentions was not good, was not pure when they wanted to pay them to do something to somebody. I'm getting that too. Because that's one of them things where you hear somebody saying, you know, they don't want to lose their gifts, you know, by manipulating somebody's free will for somebody that's out here won't work on themselves, won't go within and work on their shadow side. You know, go rededicate your life to Christ or go do it, you know, just period. Go get yourself baptized and, you know, go rededicate your life to Christ. Because at the end of the day, you know, if you ain't, you know, you got to pick a side. You know what I'm saying? In this day and time, in this world, it's always about you picking a side. It ain't about, you know, who best dressed. Because, you know, the Most High God, you know, and, and the fact that he sent his son, you know, he wouldn't. You know, when, you know, what he could have been wearing because he did come for money. But at the same time, it's a thing of somebody knowing what they up against if they do something for somebody that heart ain't in the right place. Your intentions ain't pure. And that should have backfired not just on me, but on your ass too. And I feel like somebody told somebody that they ain't want to hear that. But that's what, it, that's what it is. And I feel like somebody went to somebody else. You know, or they did something on their own anyway, and now they got death all around their ass, man. But this is why, you know, shit is ending the way it is. Because somebody warned them that it would happen. And they did it anyway. Show me who did this in this insurance policy on the collective. Show me who did this insurance policy. Who took out this insurance policy? Who took out this insurance policy? Got this insurance policy on the collective. Insurance policy investigation on you. Show me who took this out. Show me who took out this insurance policy. Page of Wands, came out in reverse, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This is somebody hasty, impulsive, impatient. Be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Star at the bottom of the deck in the reverse. Aquarius energy. Somebody did this to you when you were vulnerable. Like when you were, you know, low vibrational. This could have been a family member or something like that. But it's under investigation. Um, just 
could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I'm getting two feminines and a masculine. For some reason, it's like two. Two related and one ain't. Because there's more than one person involved in this in this uh insurance policy when it came to somebody either talking or trying to you know come into this conclusion or coming, you know, to this uh decision. You know what I'm saying? Conclusion decision. Like somebody it's like somebody worked together, you know, to decide on something like this, like they, you know, collaborated together. Well, Sagittarius did this because I feel like somebody was the ring leader, but it's like somebody brought somebody together to sit down and talk about doing this because somebody needs some money for something. Like somebody is got some financial issues going on. But when it comes to a lover situation, it's like somebody, you know, having to go within and, you know, look at themselves because I feel like somebody didn't realize. They feelings, you know, not being expressed and how they, you know, manipulated, you know, the mind and the time of a person and let alone your emotions, child, you know, to be in a karmic ass cycle with somebody. It's like what I said, somebody used all, it's like, I ain't gonna say all their goodness, but I feel like somebody gave somebody a karmic, what they were supposed to give you. And I feel like they feel bad for that. Because I feel like they know they could have made, you know, the difference. And not just in their own life, but in yours. If they had seen that, you know, before they went in that direction. But I feel like your halo was hidden. I feel like I could be talking to an earth angel. But I do feel like, you know, at the end of the day, this person had to hit rock bottom in order to, you know, see what they needed to see. Because I feel like this person was thinking... The way something was going was realistic. Like, it was working. You know, like, oh, well, this is my twins. You know, so, we're going to marry each other. We're going to go through things. We don't know. It's like somebody is just toxic. they just karmic. Ain't nothing about them going to change. They are the lesson. And I feel like somebody got a past life, you know, with somebody where they got off track. You know what I'm saying? And may have cost they person, they partner. They help make their life. But I feel like whoever did this insurance policy, this is family. This is somebody that did this that don't want you to get go into your destination. Like somebody does not want you to make it to your destiny. Like whatever's destined for you, they don't want you to approach it. And they, you can tell that you're getting close to it because they doing all they can to attack it. Not just family, but people outside of you that don't even know you. They barely even know they damn self. So, I'm going to end it here. You guys, make sure you do something nice for someone. Even if you don't know them, hit that like, that subscribe button on your way out. Hopefully the message overall helps in some way, shape, form, or fashion. But definitely, definitely know those that genuinely love me know that I love you too. Bye.